keep calling, I ain't picking up. Through with conversation, done with games, now you know I'm giving up. I didn't have to be like this, but you made me. You got everybody around me out here thinking I'm crazy. Now our past changed our future, and that's breaking my heart. It's me! It's me! Simba TV! Bang! What is good, YouTube fam? It's your boy Simba coming back here again with another reaction video for you guys today. For today's reaction video, we got Upchurch Thanksgiving Yourself Happiness. Let's get up in it, man. Yo, warning. This Thanksgiving video might be too real for your ass. If you understand, you understand. If you don't, you don't. If you're one of the folks out there looking at social media, seeing everybody's posts about Thanksgiving, all this shit, like with pumpkin pie and everybody dressed up, if you're seeing all that shit and it makes you feel like shit because you didn't have that, don't worry, I don't either. Now, I did have some friends today that know this about me and invited me to, you know, go to their Thanksgiving and stuff. And, you know, that's real nice of them, and I'm grateful that they asked me to, you know, come to their Thanksgiving and stuff. But lately, i just been going through too much shit with, uh, my own family to want to go anywhere for Thanksgiving. And I know there's probably other people out there feeling just like that. And that's me, man, me, you know, um, I always say sometimes family isn't family, you know, family isn't always blood, you know, um, I know some people that are like best friends to me that I consider family more than my own family, you know, and it's not saying that my family is just like bad or anything like that. It's just that, you go through things like family fight and you start to see that like people drift apart in life. And sometimes you're just obligated to be with that family because they're family, you know? So I, I definitely understand that. And thank you for everybody that reached out to me and said happy Thanksgiving to me and checked up on me. Um, because I do spend the holidays pretty much alone other than Christmas. Um, but yeah. And I mean, I choose to, you know, I choose to. I don't want anybody to feel sad for me or anything like that. I, I definitely choose to because I'd rather be alone than to be around an atmosphere where I feel uncomfortable. It's okay. It's just our job to fix it, bro. That's all it is. What you got to remember is family ain't always got to be actual blood family. Sometimes exactly. people got to create their families. That's exactly. why gangs started. That's why biker clubs are around. Because it's people that didn't have no families that wanted a family. And sometimes, you know, it ain't bad or good. It's not like, oh, feel sorry for me. Nah, I mean, get up. Go go create your own family, bro. Sometimes people got to do that. I mean, what would you rather do? Show up to Thanksgiving to a bunch of people that are fake as shit to your face and talk shit about you and don't really care about you? Or would exactly. you rather just go find other people and call them family? Exactly. Now, I know there will at least be one person that's in the comments. It's like, well, every family has that. Listen, you're one of the people who put up with the shit, okay? I'm not. Mm. So that excuse don't work for me. Nor does it work for a lot of people that's in these comments too, probably. But hey, to each their own. Everybody's different. But hey, the older I get, the more I live by the phrase, treat others how you want to be treated. Yep. And, you know, it's not my whole family. But I got a lot of people in my family that are treating me not how I treat them. And I'm not putting up with it. You come in this world alone, you leave this motherfucker alone. Yep. Sometimes you just have to separate yourself from the bullshit, man. You know, especially if you're trying to achieve something and you have a certain type of mindset and someone's coming in and disturbing that. You have to remove yourself, separate yourself. Why would you stay in that situation? Why would you stay in a situation that makes you uncomfortable? No. No. We're all grown. We can make our own decisions. I don't want to be around that, so I'm not going to be around that. I'm not going to tolerate it. So, <laughs> might as well do what you want to and be around people who make you happy. Exactly. And call them family. Exactly. And, you know, some people probably confused. They're probably like, why is he making this video? Because there's people out there that need to hear what I'm saying. And, hey... This is what it is. Not every famous person with millions of followers is going to feed you some bullshit just because you want to hear it. Man. And like I said before, I told y'all in the beginning I was documenting my life of music and everything that come after it. I'm still doing it. So anyone who's like, stop putting your problems on the internet. Hey, man, go cry somewhere else, bro. When I'm gone, I want the answers to come from my mouth, not somebody else's. So, um... Yeah, I didn't go to my dad's side of the family's Thanksgiving because, you know, 
somebody over there on that side of the family can't stop gossiping and fucking running around town starting these crazy, like, bullshit rumors for no reason. It's weird. And the last time this kind of shit happened with this individual was a fucking week ago. Do you expect me to sit at a fucking Thanksgiving table with them? Y'all know who I am. No, I'm not. The rumor, for whatever reason, involved my money like it like it does with all these other music doc. So weird. And, uh, Church, you got a big-ass roach thing behind you. Ew! <laughs> Don't lean back, bruh. It's gonna get you. Um, but, yeah, man, it's so weird how people pocket watch. You know, like, it's so interesting how people pocket rock. Like, they just be watching your pockets, bro. Like, and I know that has to suck because it's like, bro, it's your family doing that. Like, you know, your family is supposed to be the ones that that have you no matter what. They're supposed to be there no matter what. They're supposed to love you no matter what. They're not supposed to spread rumors. They're not supposed to do this and do that. And he already gets that from the outside. So when it's your inner circle doing it, people that watch you grew up and know who you are, that's a different type of pain, bro. Like, that's a different type of pain. Like, people in my family was talking trash about me, um, like, right before my mom died and stuff like that. And that really just sat with me for, for a long time, man. And I just started removing myself from, from certain events and things like that. And it's because it's like... You're not going to sit here and talk about me and then I have to sit in front of you and then act like everything is all right. And you're sitting in front of me acting like you didn't just say what you just said. Like, come on now. I'm not doing that shit, dude. Documentaries and their fucking families. Then I had all these people like whispering and gossiping and shit. And I was like, what is this about? Then this old boy that I've known for a long time, like since high school, he owns a really good tree service company. And, uh. He come to one of my other workers and was like, hey, man, are we going to get paid? And my worker was like, yeah, why? And they're like, we, we heard from so-and-so that uh, he was going, oh, church was going broke. And my worker was like, no, who told you that? He said, who told him? And the guy who is the tree service guy is not a liar. He's never been known to be a liar. He has no reason to lie about what he what he said that this family member said. So me being who I am, I picked up the phone, I called him. I said, hey, what's up with this? I got so-and-so over here saying, you said I was going broke and telling everybody I was going broke. Why are you doing that? My family member explodes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick this person's ass, this person's ass, first off, no you're not. Stop saying that. Good God. So I told my family member who said it because the guy who heard my family member say it said, bro, he said, I will sit right here in front of them and be like, yes, you did say that. So then my family member gets all defensive, which pretty much goes, hey, I'm guilty of yep. what you're telling me I'm guilty yep. of. Facts. Anyone with common sense knows that. So then my family member calls back like a day later. was like, found out who it was, I think. I'm like, who? They're like, they say the person's name. I'm like, thinking to myself, every time I confront this person, they always blame the same person. I'm... I'm not doing this, okay? Either you act like you're supposed to act and own up to your shit, or I don't want to be around you. I don't give a fuck if it is family. I don't. That's how real I am. I don't fucking care. Family members are supposed to want you to be the best you can be. Exactly. And they're going to push you to get there. They're not going to run around town going, I think he's going broke. It's just flat out fucking weird. And you know, I get to thinking about this kind of stuff. And I was watching Elton John's movie Rocket Man not too long ago. And there was a scene that really resonated with me, man. And it's when he's going to his family member's house to see him. And, you know, to see how they've been or whatever. I think he's talking about um, when he went to his dad's house. And then his dad introduced him to his, I think it was like his sisters or brothers or some shit like that. And then they were like, hey, can I have an autograph for so-and-so? Like, put love so-and-so. And he's like, I'm your son. Like, you know, like, I'm your son. Like, you can talk to me as your son, not as this famous person. Like, it's that if you haven't seen that movie, watch it. It's really good, man. It's fucking amazing. And he comes in excited to see his family member. And the family member is just sitting there. Telling the other family members, he's like, he's like, yeah, I heard you were worth X amount of dollars. Is that true? 
and I heard you had this. Is that true? How much money are you worth? How much money? How much money? Money, 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 money. Or it was all about money. Then the family member goes and gets one of their albums and brings it back in there. And the family member said, will you sign this? And, you know, he was, he was like, oh, that's cool. And he goes to sign it, and he's like, oh, no, not to me. It's yep. to my friend at work. That shit resonated with me. Because I do have family members where every fucking time I go over there, they don't give a fuck about me as Ryan. They're, they're just like, hey, will you sign this? Will you sign this? Hey, can you go over to so-and-so's house and sign this truck? Hey, my friend Daryl wants to meet you. Can you come over here? I'm not doing all that. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Hell, the same family member I'm talking about hits me up last week, fucking like 11 o'clock at night. And they didn't ask. They're like, hey, call this number. This guy wants to put your face on his liquor and sell it. He'll even give you money off of it. I'm thinking, no shit, dude. No shit. I, I, I'm a millionaire, bro. I could start my own liquor company without some middle party being like, I can do it. Plus, I don't drink. And no offense, but I don't really want to squeeze money out of the people who like me for me to listen to my music because of liquor. The fuck? Also, this family member proceeds to tell me, well, they've been trying to hit you up. Okay, did you ever think maybe I don't give a fuck? Mm. You ever think about that? So I text back and say, I'm not interested. This is the sad part. This was the end of the conversation. There was no text back. Nothing. Let me check. Oh, yes, there was. Okay. That was it. Just an O and a K. That's the part that pisses me off. It makes me not want you to be my family member. Do you understand what I'm saying? And look, the reason I am saying this family member and not saying their names is because I genuinely do care about them. But I don't have to put up with them. And I'm not gonna. They can either change what they're doing or they can fuck off. Hmm. That goes for all the family members doing stuff like this. I'm not, I'm not, you ain't Elvis and me, cuz. I'm not having a heart attack due to stress. I'll just quit fucking with you. Once again, I'm making this video because I know there's a lot of other people out there that are probably dealing with the same shit and they don't know how to handle it. Oh, I just told you how to handle it. Cut the motherfuckers off. Don't talk to them no more until they clean their fucking act up. Because what I'm learning right now in my own life is money does not change you. It changes everyone around you. Oh, yeah. Some that's of a them fact. for the better, some of them for the worse. Yeah, that's as a fact. pathetic and sad as that sounds, it is true. And I don't understand why is it always the person who makes the money? It don't change them. It changes, like, all these people who want to count your fucking pockets around you. And it's like they don't even realize it's changing them. The, the people that it's changing for the worst, those are the ones who are like, yeah, look, look, his money made him all smiley and stuff. He must be going broke. It's like, do you even know who the fuck you are, dude? Because mm. it sounds like you don't. And you know, as crazy as it sounds, man, I ain't gonna cap, y'all. I feel the most normal and loved by people when I'm watching reactions of my fucking music. Yep. And I'm cool with that. <laughs> so, if your Thanksgiving was like that, don't fucking worry. Get out there and make your own family. Lots of people do it every day. Ain't no reason you can't do it. Happy Thanksgiving. Hmm. That's some real stuff right there, man. That's some real stuff. And, like, I'm in the boat of that you know like uh i've been in that boat for t years now you know like i said i usually spend the holidays just kind of alone you know just chilling you know i'd rather be alone than with the bullshit man so if you guys like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me thank you guys for counting and sharing and subscribing and i'll see you guys next time peace